Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in James chapter 4, beginning in verse 14, and it goes like this. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is life? It's even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. You know, I saw an interview on television a while back about the poverty uh, some portions of our nations have. You know, you take like New York City and Chicago, some of them big cities, Los Angeles, and, and the poverty is just unreal. There's an interview and some people that was born in poverty and uh, you know they've lived their entire life that way and it was it's one of the saddest things that uh, i ever experienced watching that that it just broke my heart and, and as they interviewed these people none of them seemed to have any goals or purpose in life and they asked one young man what what are your dreams What's your purpose? He replied, I don't know. I guess I'll just stay here. So many people live like that today. They're on a, a, a wheel like a rat runs, you know, and, and there's just no stopping to it. They just keep on doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. You know, they get up in the morning, they slosh their coffee down and go to work and Come back home, go to bed, get up, do it all over again. It's about like that movie Groundhog Day. The same thing every day. And then one day, you know, it's appointed unto man wants to die. and They never lived. They only existed. But God calls you and me to much more than just a routine. Yeah. He's called us to have a purpose-driven life. A purpose. What is your purpose? Have you figured that one out? Has, has the Lord showed you your purpose? Whatever you do, if you're a child of God, you have a purpose. And you have to find out what that purpose is. Don't just settle for the normal. Don't just be a pew setter. Live a purpose-driven life. When you do, you'll discover that life truly does have meaning beyond just existing. God wants you to live a purpose-driven life. Break out of that ordinary and do the extraordinary for God. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. Get out of that routine. Live an extraordinary life, a purpose, a purpose-driven life. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.